Hey guys, Justice Aruna Samani, the lead judge for the presidential election petitions tribunal that affirmed the victory of President Bola Tinubu in the February 25th poll, is one of those that have been just been recommended to the Supreme Court's bench by the National Judiciary Council. Nigerians don't talk tire. <laughs> they say that compensation be this for a work well done. Hmm? They say the federal government of Nigeria, they won't compensate Sumani for affirming President Bola Metinubu's victory. Una know what will happen now. Uh -huh. Sumani present, uh, presided over the five-man appeal court panel that included Justice Stephen Adar, Justice Manis Manisert, Bolaji Yusuf, Justice Moses Ugo, and Justice Abba Mohammed. The presidential election petition tribunal in the unanimous decision held that the People's Democratic Party and the Labour Party candidates, Atiku Abubakar and Peter Obi, respectively, as well as other petitioners, fit to substantiate their allegations against the poll conducted by the pres president. Uh, Independent National Electoral Commission. On Wednesday, the NJC recommended Simani and 10 other justices for appointment to the Supreme Court bench. And there, Honorable Justice Juma Hanatu Sanki, Honorable Justice Chidebiri Woma Wa, Honorable Justice Chioma Ngosu. Honorable Justice Aruna Samani, Honorable Justice Mori Asimu, Honorable Justice Obaide Festus, Honorable Justice Stephen John Ada, Honorable Justice Habid Adewale O Abiru, Honorable Justice Jamilu Ya Yamama Taku. Honorable Justice Abubakar Sadiq Omar, Honorable Justice Mohammed Baba Idris. Meanwhile, one of those also nominated to the Supreme Court bench, Justice Mori Asimo, has also been in the eye of the storm over the controversy that trailed the Court of Appeals verdict on the Canon State Governorship election. The controversy was caused by the difference between verdicts of the three member panel led by Justice Adume and the content of the certified true copy of the judgment made available uh, later. Later, the CTC contradicted the judgment read in court, which sat Governor Abba Yusuf. Nigerians are not happy with them. All. Nigerians are saying that the federal government of Nigeria is not paying back. You see, whether they are paying back or not, it is good to be good. Stand for the right thing. So that tomorrow, if anything they happen, people go they hardly to see what they will say about you. You understand? All this confusion right now is because of what happened during the presidential election petition, you know, tribunal case. And after that, what the Supreme Court can't do self, they can't, in fact, now they can't finish the matter. The judiciary is supposed to be, you know, where people get justice. But in Nigeria, you don't get justice in our judiciary system. And it's wrong. If Nigerians do not trust the judiciary system, there, that means there is a problem somewhere. Imagine. Nigerians do not trust them. There is no move that we make Nigerians will trust them. They do not trust these people any longer. You understand? Because of what happened. People went on react to this news con they talk say now God go punish them one after the other. They don't they collect their earthly price. But last last they will collect the price of God, their punishment. Your evil deed will, will still catch up with you, no matter the promotion you evil man gets. 
Thanks, but be sure your children will inherit your evil or kill based on manipulation. Hmm, this is nonsense. You scratch, you, sc you scratch my back, I scratch your back. Nigeria, wash my hands and let me wash yours. This is how it plays. That is a tip for his evil acts from the evil control mind against the multitude in a country. The end will justify all. It is a matter of time. He will reap what he sowed. Reward for doing their duty job. The CJN Ariwala promotion and God Almighty evaluation, which is more glorifying. You will see this in, in the book of Psalm. The book, the book of Bible Psalm 75, verse 6, 6 to 7. It's payback time, I think. Well, one good turn deserves another, only that it is too early, but that shows how shameless our leaders are. Aruna Samani is due to evaluation to the Supreme Court. I knew this because we are from the same state, Bauchi. And I knew the time he left Bauchi State High Court. Whatever the judgment of presidential election petition tribunal is, he would have been promoted when he's due. Okay? So guys, you've all heard it now. What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.